Hi guys, it's Kam B, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use the Animation Gizmo. The Animation Gizmo uh, may look intimidating and some people are afraid to even give it a try, but it's actually, uh, in my opinion, one of the easiest gadgets to use in Rec Room. Um, you could use it really to move any, any type of object. Um, in this example, I'm going to be using a bee and I'm going to be animating both the wings and the body. Um, but you could be creative and really apply this to anything in your, either your dorm room or your custom room. Um, so let's get started. Okay guys, so for this example, I'm going to be animating the bee. I'm going to make his wings look like they're fluttering and then I'm going to use a second animation to have the bee uh, fly. Um, I'm just going to do part of the way around the hive. Um, as you could see uh, for the for this room I had the bees go fully around but just for purposes of, of learning I'm just going to do a few keyframes. So in order to start um, go to create on your maker pen. Go to gadgets and click on the animation gizmo. If I want to animate the wings, um, I'll have to make sure that they're separate from the body. In this case, I have all the pieces separately. Um, but if I merge them together, um, just for purposes of showing you how to unmerge them, here I'll merge shapes. And then what I'll want to do to separate each of the wings is hit manipulate. Click on a piece of the wing and all the other pieces of the right wing that you want separate. Go to options, split shapes, and then I'll want to do the same thing to the other wing. Manipulate, select all the pieces of the left wing, options, split shapes. So now my left and right wings are both um, separate from the body and head. And I'm going to wire this animation gizmo to each of the wings. And you'll want to make sure you wire the top of the gizmo to each of the wings, not the body. And now I'm going to edit the gizmo. And what you'll see is a new um, menu pops up on my maker pen um, once I edit the gizmo. And Think of this almost as a timeline. So each time I add a frame, it's going to be a different movement um, that I'm adding to the animation. So if I hit add, my first frame is really the initial starting point of the wings. And then for the second keyframe, I'll want to rotate each of the wings. I want to make sure my snapping's to surface. So I move the wing. And I rotate it at the same time um, so it doesn't jump off his body. And I'll want to do the same thing to the second wing. Rotate and move. There go. And if you want to see how that looks, you can just use the slider or another option would be to just hit play. I'm gonna add one more keyframe. Um, I'm just gonna move this wing slightly back. I think it's a little too far forward. So if I add another keyframe and I copy the first frame, that I have of the wings to the end. It's gonna make it look like he's opening his wings and then bringing them back to the starting point. So if I hit play. Okay, so it looks like I accidentally only uh, copied and pasted one of the wings, but that's okay. So what you could do is hit select 
Make sure both wings are selected, copy and paste it to the end. And now when I hit play, both of his wings are moving. Um, if there's anything I want to change at any point, I could go ahead and go to that frame that I want to edit and select the piece that I want to um, change. So if I were to just change this keyframe slightly, maybe I rotated the wings a little too much. Now I, when I hit play, I have the the new um, placement of the wing that I like. So now that I did a very simple open and shut of his wings, there's a few other things that are important to know on this menu. Um, the first is I want to make sure that this box here is checked with the the curvy line. It's basically saying instead of having a rigid movement, it's it's more of a smooth. Um, animation. Um, I want to make sure that my in and out are linear. That means that the speed of the animation is consistent throughout. If I were to hit ease, it might be a little bit slower. Um, ease fast, it'll be slower and then a faster movement um, towards the end of the frame. Um, in this case, I want it to be linear. Um, the only time when I personally would use um, one of the other options other than linear would be is if I'm animating a person walking and I want to make them look less like a robot and more like a human. Um, but for the most part, you could probably stay with the linear movement. Um, I'm going to hit the done editing and you'll see that the wings aren't moving now because the animation gizmo is set to to off. Um, that's what this zero means. If it's set to one, it's playing. If it's set to zero, it's off. So let's configure it and set it to one. In this case, I want the wings of the bee to constantly be moving. So I could just configure that, that number again to one. But if um, I didn't want it to be a constant movement, um, like I'll show you in the second animation. Um, you might want to set this up a, a little bit differently. So now if I configure the animation gizmo, you'll see that my playback mode is on loop. Um, if I wanted it to say just go across the room and stop, I might want to have it on ping pong and stop at the end. Um, so just make sure if you don't want your animation to keep going over and over again, uh, that you don't have the loop checked. All right. Now that I have my wing set up, I'm going to do an animation to show the bee flying. Um, so first what I'll want to do is select my bee and the wings. And the way to select the wings now is really just to select the animation gizmo because that's connected to the wings and I'm going to rotate him into a flying position. So now if I create a new animation gizmo, um, this one is going to be him flying and it's going to be attached to the wings. Um, so while he's flying, his wings will still be going up and down. So I'm going to wire this to the body and then wire the new animation gizmo to the body of the wing gizmo. And there we go. So if I, again, I hit edit, I want to select um, this check mark right here and hit add frame. And I want to select the B and the wings and move him forward. And at the same time, I'm also going to rotate All right, so if you want to see how that looks, again, you could just move this uh, toggle down below. Add, move, and rotate. You'll want to make sure everything's selected or you're only going to be moving different pieces of the B, but you, you want to make sure you're, that the wings and the body are selected. So I'm going to keep going um, for a few frames. 
so you could see how it looks at the end. So if I hit play, I could see how it looks so far. Um, I don't really like the last frame I did, so what I could do is I could just edit him to where I prefer him to be in that frame. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, I'm going to just make a few adjustments. Hit play once more. There we go, that's pretty good. And again, this is just an example um, for the bees up at the top. I probably use 30 keyframes. Um, the most you could use, I think, is 50. Um, so keep playing around with it till you get it um, looking how you know you want it to look and to make sure all the movements are smooth. Um, in order to bring the bee back to the starting uh, position, I just drag this toggle back to the beginning. And I want to configure this to ping pong, stop at end, um, because I, I don't want him to fly back, forth, back, forth. I'm just going to show the movement um, up to the point where I stopped. And to do that, I'm going to create a button, wire the red um, arrow to my play button. So when I hit push me, it'll send the one variable to the gizmo and that will set off the animation. So let's give it a try. So that looks pretty good. Um, his body's moving, he's rotating, and at the same time he's moving his wings. Um, again, if I wanted to keep going, I could have him do a, a full circle, but I think for purposes of this tutorial, I don't want to uh, make it too long. Uh, I hope this um, maybe answered some of your questions about animation. If you have any additional questions, feel free to ask them down below. And if you like this tutorial, uh, please like and subscribe. I have some exciting projects um, that are going to be coming out in the next few days, which I'm excited to share. So please stay tuned, and I'll, I'll see you in a few days. All right, bye, guys.